Where does Thursday go? It was Thursday, Splodge's birthday. What fun they all had. That night, Splodge thought about his special day and wished it didn't have to end. He knew his birthday would be gone in the morning. So he wondered Splodge, what happened to it during the night? Where did it go? Where does Thursday go before Friday comes? He asked his friend. Humbug. Humbug looked thoughtful. It has to go somewhere, said Splodge. I'd like to say goodbye to it before it goes. Come on. Then crept downstairs and slipped out into the star speck streets. First, they came to a bridge. A gentle river gurgled beneath. Oogle gurgle, oogle gurgle, it said. Is that you, Thursday? Splodge called out. We've come to say goodbye. But there was no reply. Splodge and Humbug found a part. To wit, to woo, called an owl from a tall tree. As it flapped past, its wings whispered in the cool night air. Is that you, Thursday? called Splodge, but there was no reply. Splodge and Humbug sat down by the edge of the lake. A streak of shining silver swam past with a flick of its tail. Is that you, Thursday? called Splodge, but there was no reply. The friends climbed a hill. Suddenly, a deep growl whooshed out of a tunnel. Woo woo! cried the engine, and its wheels hummed as it raced past. Is that you, Thursday? called Splodge, but there was no reply. Splodge and Humbug walked to the edge of the sea. White-tipped waves splashed the shore. Swish, swish, the waves sighed as they drew back into the ocean. Is that you, Thursday? called Splodge, but again there was no reply. Sadly, Splodge and Humbug turned towards home. They sat down on the front steps. Do you know what I think Thursday looks like, said Splodge? Humbug looked impressed. I think it's a big and round, like my birthday cake, said Splodge, and it's all bright like my candles, and it makes me happy like balloons, said Splodge. I think Thursday is all of these things. Humbug looked very thoughtful, and he glanced up to the night sky. There was the moon, big and round and bright, hanging like a silver balloon, just like Thursday. Just then, the moon began to drift slowly behind the clouds. Splodge waved. Goodbye, Thursday, he called. Goodbye. Then Splodge and Humbug crept back inside and they climbed into bed, closed their eyes and slept soundly until the sun brought Friday.